Hey, what's up, my Wangu Wazuri? This is AV, and I'm back again, this time with an artist vlog detailing my experience at Albuquerque Zine Fest 2023 held in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, we started out the morning super early, 4.30 in the morning, to drive down. Uh, we made the decision to do a road trip, and man, it was a great, great time. Um, I've, I'm used to driving quite a bit, either to LA or to Portland, but the drive down to Albuquerque is unique, and we did hit uh, the sunrise once we got on Highway 5. The one fun fact is that Highway 5 uh, turns into Highway 40 at some point, but I think we also um, hit uh, Highway 58. It, it, it's all a blur now. But the road trip was amazing coming through California to Arizona and then to New Mexico. It's such a beautiful trip. We had to get there by Friday because I was due to take part in a zine reading. The zine reading was at Quirky Books with um, three other readers. I really, really love the scenery of Albuquerque and couldn't wait to get out and explore the city a little bit. Quirky, Quirky Books has an amazing staff and a great venue for reading. Um, I got there early, super early, because I was so juiced, so excited. So I was going to be second up after Gustavo Garcia and Natalia Toscano. There was a small but very supportive crowd, um, organizers and staff from the bookstore and organizers from the fest and family and friends. I always get a little nervous, but I really love sharing my art and comics. In Oakland, California, where zombies invade Oakland. But it was visually heavy, and you'll see a lot of Oakland streets and live art in it. There's all I'm not sure what's in pink poppers, but never feed them to your pet rabbit. I no longer have a pet rabbit. <laughs> The reading went well. I think everybody was entertained. Everybody had a good time. I definitely had a good time, enjoyed the other readers immensely, um, but it was back to the house to get some much needed rest, you know, get get ready for the next day. It was going to be awesome. Held at the Explore Children's Museum, and yeah, there was a ton of tablers, so I was excited to share my art and meet new people, meet, uh, meet up with people that I've seen before in Albuquerque since pre-pandemic. Um, so many wonderful, generous faces and wonderful people. The community really showed up. It was a really amazing, amazing day. I don't know why, but I'm still shocked and amazed when people say they've read issue one and come back for issue two or three or four even and chat me up and say, hey, I recognize you. It's such a, a great feeling. Uh, this year I had a full table and was able to look outside the new venue is awesome there's a balcony and you can overlook part of New Mexico really enjoyed the good vibes big smiles wonderful weather everybody was so so happy and enthusiastic I couldn't have wished for a better venue um, again thanks so much for watching comment like and share make sure to subscribe you guys are awesome let me know in the comment section if you've ever been to a zine fest either locally in your hometown or if you've gone away to a comic convention or zine fest the venue again was amazing i didn't get to explore it as much as i'd like i was super grateful and loved the home of my friends that we got to hang out with they decorated for halloween and we had fun singing karaoke after the fest Funny as it was, they didn't record me singing, so I guess she missed that. Do what you want. But, but we all did get up and sing and have a good time. Come on, come on. <laughs> so I guess you'll have to wait till next time to see me. But my friends were amazing. And I really ended up staying up past my bedtime.
But I did eventually go to bed because I had to get up bright and early the next morning. And saying goodbye is always difficult, but we had an amazing time. But back on the road for another 20 plus hours back to Oakley, California. Um, and the ride is not hard, but it is long. However, I will say I do get freaked out by the 18 wheelers. Uh, once it goes to a two lane highway, uh, it's a little close for comfort. Uh, but this is a, a great and epic road trip. Like I said, I had a blast. Um, it was really, really, really fun. Um, yeah, and road trips are, what, they're always great. I mean, until you run into rain, which we ran into some crazy weather uh, in Arizona, and it rained pretty hard. And like I said, driving by 18 wheelers is a little nuts, especially in the rain on a two-lane highway, but it did clear up visibility wasn't too bad um again as long as it was daytime i felt semi okay driving in the downpour um i don't think there's too much uh thunderstorms or lightning but it was at some points like i said a little um hairy and concerning but um we made it home fine i did get to see some amazing um, sunrises and sunsets so that is something that I always remember it was so beautiful um, and calming after all that rain and downpour so if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching again make sure to drop a like YouTube really appreciates when you do that it pushes my videos to the top uh, thanks for commenting all the new subscribers and yeah you guys are super super awesome have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.